Okay, guys. So I'm gonna do uh, Dragon's Dogma this week, um, the Dark Arisen. Um, now I've played a decent amount of this game before, and Andy has very recently beat this game. But neither of us have actually showed any gameplay footage of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start a new character. Um, if it has saved my game, I don't know if it saved my game from before or not. That's fine. Of course, I don't remember where I'm at anyway. Select your desired game difficulty. We'll just do it on normal. I did think it was interesting that they added things like speedrun mode and hard mode and things like that to the main menu for uh, for the expansion. Um, this game was free on Plus a couple of months ago. Um, and it came with the Dark Arisen expansion. It's like a $20 thing. So, you know, you're getting basically $80 worth of game for free. Well, well as part of your PlayStation Plus subscription. Do I have a light source? The dragon's roost is just beyond. We should hurry. And I don't remember the if this is the intro to the original game or if this is the intro to uh, the darker risen. Oh crap. Wow, he did not take any damage. Run, 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 run. So, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls lately, in case you haven't been watching our streams. Um, or my streams, rather. So, uh, been. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot easier than Dark Souls, um, as I remember. Yeah, 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 I'm working. Um, so something that was that's in this game uh, it, is the pawn system. So basically you set up, uh, once you get past the intro, you create a helper that is always around with you, um, and usually it should be something that complements your playstyle. So if you are a caster, you probably want a tank. If you are a tank, you probably want some sort of ranged support. Um, at any point you can summon more of these guys. Um, as, as you saw with this stone here, it brought in two other ones. Um, now, in this part of the game, they're all AI, um, like, pre-made characters by the developers, but once you get into the real game, you actually start playing with other people's pawns, and, and they use their gear. However, they don't really gain experience. Um, hey now, what are you doing, you jerk? Um... They don't gain experience while you're running around with them. So, uh, you have to... Like, you'll use them for like four or five levels, and then you'll have to send them back and, and, and get new ones. Which really kind of sucks, because you get used to running around with the same party, and, and you know, they, they do calls and, and whatnot. I don't know if you can hear them or not. Let me see if I can turn on... Uh... Let me see if I can turn on uh, subtitles. There we go. Oops. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. That way you'll be able to see like what they say all the time, and it'll put like a little, like each of their dots is color coded. So like pawn one is red, pawn two is blue, pawn three is yellow, or whatever it is. Let's see. And once you know their names, you're like, oh, well, Duterface is always saying the same crap. Um. 
And I, and I like how, like, there really isn't much in the way of a, uh, tutorial. It's just like, here you go. You just get into the game and start on it. Who's this blue guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. They're all really annoying sometimes because I talk a lot. Harpies! Ah! Get it off! 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 Oh, somehow I picked it up. Okay, I don't know how I grabbed it, but I grabbed it and, and slung it over my shoulders. No, I don't want to go your way. Dodge mechanic, it seems. I've, I, I've forgotten so much about how this game plays. And it's really hard to see, because my room is really bright. And this game is really dark. But I gotta, guess I could crank Gamma up if I really needed to. Freaking harpies. Got him to land in a really crappy spot, guys. Thanks for that. Oh! Hey, there we go. I forgot, so in order to, uh, like, change up your abilities, because you get a buttload of abilities in this game, um, because I think you can, like, mix and match your class a little bit. Um, in order to like add modifiers, you use the R and L1 buttons, and it changes out your attacks. Um, I know you can't really see all of them, but you can see them a change as I do that. Where the fuck is this harpy? Ugh, these pawns are so talkative. Yeah, I'm gonna run ahead of all of you guys. Forget you, dudes. Uh oh. Griffin! Or Manticore, whatever the hell this thing is. So, one of the really awesome things about this game is on the larger enemies, you can jump on its back and attack the crap out of it. Shall not pass? Who do you think you are, Gandalf? It has a lot of life bars, that's for sure. Let's see, see, I'm not the only one on here. One of my, my, my other pawn dude my other tanky pawn guy is, uh, he's riding on the snake end of, of this thing. Yeah, we cut its snake tail off. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Kick its ass. And it looks like the goat part's dead, so now all that's left is the lion part. But you can do this with most of the larger enemies in this game. Um, you can jump on their backs or uh, legs or limbs or whatever and just start, you know, hacking away. Um, 
there are like trolls and uh, cyclops, psi, and things like that. I don't know how what the plural is for cyclops. Crap. I don't know if there's a lock on for this game. I don't remember. Um, I, I mean, it would it would definitely benefit from having a lock on system. Hey now. All right, fine. I'm gonna jump on you too, jerk. I don't know if you do more damage if you're on it or if you take if you do less damage. Yay, we killed it. Not done. I'm not done killing it. Okay. Now I'm done killing it. Now choose flee or step forth. Take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal. Oh poop. <laughs> and I believe that's the intro. So yeah, that was that was the intro sequence of this game, and now they're doing like the big CG cutscene bit. Yeah, big ass dragon. Just falls out of the sky here. Who knows why dragons just fall out of the sky like that, but alright, I'll take that. With its harpies. See, that dragon better wake up. So now we get into character creation. So let's make a dude here. Um, oh wow. Uh, we'll just call him Ugly Bob. Because why not? If it gives me crap about having a space, I'm going to cry. Um, we'll display for players with parental controls disabled. Uh, okay. Yes. And we'll just call him Ellie. Because why not? Alright, um. Ooh, ooh, he could be tiny. He could be a giant. Uh. There's a pretty decent amount of pre made characters in this game. Basically a dwarf. Uh, let's just make him. Let's go with that. Um, oh crap. It's fine. Voices don't bother me that much. That's fine. No, continue editing. I'm not done with this yet. What are you talking about? Edit more detail. There we go. So now you have your face presets. Okay. Um, yeah. 
and hairstyles and all that fun stuff. So, I mean, you can make a pretty detailed character in this game if you'd like. Um, less round. That works. Um, you know, like, you can, you can make their legs really long or really, uh, really short. You can change their stance so that you're more like, you know, I don't know, you stand more pigeon-toed and whatever. It's, they got some freaking, like, they, they, they went in and they're like, here, you can make some pretty awesome looking characters. It's not like Elder Scrolls Deep, but it's pretty good. Um, that's good enough. Alright, we're good. Now I'm ready to play. I don't, I don't need to change up the dude at all. Alright. So now we're going to start the main, main story. Um, the Dark Arisen campaign I don't think actually really starts until closer to the end of the original game. It's more like an extension on the original versus a just like bolt-on add-on pack. Although you can go to it at any point, it's just not suggested. Um, from what from what Andy has told me, it is not suggested that you go to it at the beginning of the game because you will get destroyed because the monsters are super high level. Got some mutton chops. Hear ye, hear ye. The prophets have spoken, friends. The dragon's return is nigh. Bill Nye? Join the honorable Duke's ranks and help us be rid of the foul beast. The days come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword. <laughs> was she waving at you or was she waving at the guy behind you? The dragon. I like how it is presented in, in the, the like the letterbox all the time. Like the entire game is in letterbox, and I don't know if that's a a, a rendering thing or if they just like the, the cinematic feel of it that way or what. Dragon is effing up this town. Let's do this. One guy versus the world. We're gonna do this. Cause that's what like all RPGs are about, right? One one person and a couple of their buddies, maybe, trying to take on the big baddie. Challenge the dragon. Alright. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I wonder if you can kill the dragon at the beginning of the game. Like, I know in, in like, uh, what is it, Demon Souls? You could, um, you could kill that demon at the be very beginning of that game. Um, it would just take you forever, but you could do it. And if you did it, awesome. No, you can't kill the dragon. That base. Uh oh. It's got some thick eyelashes. Man, scaring up. Oh 
man. Why you take my heart? Nom 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 nom. Apparently he likes a risen hearts. Deep fried. Popeye style. Mostly. He didn't have this scar on his chest the last time, though. I don't know what happened. We saw the dragon eat a heart or something. remember how like class selection works I think I'm about to find out okay there we go so yeah you can uh, you choose one of your three like standard classes right you have fighter strider which is like a ranger rogue class and then mage um, let's see I've never really been very good at a caster so let's go Let's go with fighter, just because it's the easiest of the three to wrap your head around. Um, take a weapon. Smash pots. Yeah. Get my Legend of Zelda on and step on that dude's face. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, you can collect herbs. There's a little bit of crafting here and there. It's it's there's some good stuff. I have no heart. Fear-mongering, fear-mongering, fear-mongering. Oh, hi. What? Why do I have a hundred thousand dollars is oh wait that's because I it played it before the it went free on plus I guess you should be a bet I wish you luck oh do 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 bucket pick up the bucket pick up the broom Just gonna take a whole bunch of crap and sell it, cause yeah, that's what you do in these games. All right. Uh, 
Where am I at? Do, 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 do. I do like this little town, like... Like, most, like, when you're, when you're playing most RPGs, it's like, oh, there's five buildings and there's, like, a dozen people that live here. This actually looks like a, a town that people would live in. Like, this is, you know, there's, there's enough buildings that could theoretically hold, you know, 30, 40 people or 100 people or whatever. Um... And I think Capcom did a really good job with, with setting it up that way. Can I talk to this kid? Yeah, I want to talk to this kid. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's see here. Um, I can go down to the beach. But, I mean, you can, you know, see the destruction that the dragon brought on and... and like, he totally effed up that, whatever that was out there, that, I don't know, trading post, Fisherman's Wharf thing. Um, so it does have, like, if you look at the, the mini-map down there on the lower left, um, it does have, like, main quest marker, and this is where you need to go. So it, it, it holds your hand a little bit with the quest stuff, but it doesn't really, like... Straight up say, go here to do this. Kill, you know, all the baddies are over here and things like that. Like, you, you have to do some exploration. You have to figure some stuff out. You're scary looking. Come at me, bro. That man you are speaking with, he's of the Pawn Legion. They come from some unknown place, just appeared without a warning. And, and nobody's freaked out by this, why? Dark magic, dark magic. Oh, hey, go, by the way, go go over here. <laughs> it's like he's hoping I go get killed. Oh, that's right. Your first one's name is M Rook. Uh, does he have a quest? Oh wow. That pawn will be looking to head west to the why don't you Yeah, 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 yeah. Is kind of All right. Um let's see. There is there are vendors around here somewhere. I don't know if I have to find them all or if I just have to You humans certainly do make a lot of expressions. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, hello. It's a mercy. I only wish I had more. Um Ooh, I already have a lantern. Oil, arrows. Ah. Yeah, so I probably ought to buy a shield and a sword. And. No, oh, I don't care about his crap. I can kind of not use that. Oh, wait, just because I have a bunch of money doesn't mean I can't. Oh, um, what is this? 
set of fisherman's tatters. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wear the bloody shirt. Oh, I guess it's not really armor. Alright. Okay. Whatever. I keep hitting X to try to do stuff and it, it doesn't really work. No, nah, I'm good. Let's get out of town here. And so the adventure begins. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go as far as we can. Uh, odds are I'm only gonna get to this little town. Um, as I remember when when I initially played this game, I didn't. There was no um, fast travel options, or if there was, it was it was way later. Oh, this guy's getting his ass kicked. Yay, Ugly Bob leveled up. Hi. Am I really short or are you really tall? I don't know, we're still on a hill. I'm called Reynard, a traveling salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. Oh, hey, I got a leather cape. Yeah, need more armor. Alright. So the menu is this crazy looking radio menu. I do like like the the cloth um like the cloth physics are really good in this game. I'm, I'm you know and I know that's a weird thing to to say but they are really good. Like they did a really good job with a lot of the uh like effects. Oh crap. I hear goblins, but where the hell are they? Goblin! There he is. Yeah, we're good. Anything? Get our herbs on here. Um, I'm pretty sure your uh, your pawns will also start um, gathering herbs and stuff like that too, like just on their own. Uh, my little. Yes, there is. There is. There's only honor and death, or something. Apparently you can, can you kill, I don't remember if you can take bunnies or not. And you can, sometimes you can pull off of these things like four or five times. The fallen stumps, they just have a whole bunch of stuff in them. You'll find ore, plants, and other materials at harvest points. Thanks, Rook. Thanks for, for letting me know that crap. Do, 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 do. Alright, so I've made it here. We've arrived, Master. To knock on the big door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 my knowledge. Can you hear our voice? A weak stone, if memory serves. I know the way, Master. Follow me. Hi. What to say, sir? All right. Look. Well, Can you hear our voice? 
Okay. Go collect five buckets of water. Oh, never mind. Not that easy. Search the area. A Power from this just wants me to run around and find all the crap. Oh, hey. Yeah, they're tents. That's what they do. Yeah, so it, it also shows you the crap that your your pawns pick up. So they'll they'll pull up herbs and and whatnot. Um, I don't think you can take herbs away from pawns that are not yours, um, or whatever stuff they've collected. There we go. Oh no! Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, so uh the game does have like a day night cycle. Um and I guess monsters are like big and crazy at night versus being not so big and crazy during the day. Um I don't remember them being super hard. I just the only thing I remember about the day night the night cycle was it's just hard to see stuff. Oh crap. Goblins and a cyclops thing. Ovals. I'm on it. Crap. Got bitch slapped. Alright. What happened? So that's what happens when you die. Uh, <laughs> I guess climbing up on him was a bad idea. It just sucks that it's like it doesn't just start the event over. You have to start back over in town. You have to go through the dry, the thing and uh, uh, the load screen. For that area again. Um. Although I have a feeling later on that would get really irritating because you'd start right outside the room with the boss and you would just die over and over and over again and, and then you'd be stuck and you couldn't leave, so. Can I skip the. Yeah, I can skip the cutscene. Let's, let's kill these goblins first. Um, so the, the 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 pawns do um, they give you some useful information about enemies. Ah.
trying to climb up it doesn't really... There you go. Sometimes that doesn't really work out very well for everybody involved. It's not happy about it. Ah, uh, come on. Yay! Oh. I forgot to pick up its tusk. I wonder if that's gonna be a problem. So I'm not even sure what who did all that damage, because he had like two life bars or two and a half life bars worth of life. What are you doing here, Emperor Palpatine? So I mean, as you can see, like this game is 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 pretty simple at first. But I mean, as you as you level up, you unlock new abilities. Um, as you actually, really, it's not necessarily as you level; it's more as you rank up your different jobs. Um, so you have your primary abilities, secondary abilities. So if it, rather than just smack, 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 you have smack with style. Or something like that. Um, I don't remember how you're supposed to level up your uh, stuff, though. Maybe it's every five levels or so, it's a new rank. Yay! Oh, you mean I can't keep Rook? Alright, so now is, now is when I get to make my own pawn um, and it's very similar to your you know your character customization you know you put out a name and then you have yeah this yeah it's called biscuit. Close enough. Um, but you know, just it's exactly it's just the character creator for a second character. No, I want to be done. I'm trying to click through menus too fast. There we go. Um, oh, okay. And then you have to like kind of train the AI. So you go, oh, well, what would I want my my helper to be? Give my, 
get me a mage person to help me out because then they give you buffs as well as heals and, and all this other stuff. And fireballs, you know, they shoot fireballs of crap. It's always fun. Oof. Oh, hi. Our fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men called pawns live and die by your command. Yep. Yay, Becca leveled up. Hi. Ah, a master and his pawn, is it? You'll be quite the force from the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. I can help in that regard. Oh, do I have to I have to do the Oh no, I don't have to. Okay. All right. Well, um, where are we going? I think I have to talk to him, or can I skip him and just leave? I can just leave. I don't need to do that. But either way, that's like the first almost hour of this game. Um, but you know, it, there's a lot of mechanics to go through. Uh, I believe later on you can choose to. Dual or even tri class. Um, I want to say, because if you look at like the gear that you pick up, so like uh, like that. So if you look, you can see, well, you can't tri class, but you can dual class really hard. So you could be a spell sword or like a super, like a super mage or a super whatever. Um, and, and there's some pretty cool class combinations you can pull off. Like, you can have a, a warrior that shoots spells while he's bashing you in the face with his shield. Or you can have, you know, a caster rogue or a a, a melee rogue or whatever, you know. However you want to do it. It's it's There's just some really fun stuff. And there's some, like, unique abilities that those, class, those uh, combination classes get. But then you can also choose to be, like, instead of a warrior, you could turn into uh, whatever the the second tier of warrior is and then you get like special ultra hard hitting abilities so you know this game is really deep I when I played it initially I think I put like 25 hours into it and I may have only gotten about halfway um, I know Andy probably put a good 40 or 50 in with the expansion so um, I can't recommend this game enough for for people who, who want an RPG that is going to it's, it's going to take you a very long time to beat um, and there's there's this whole open world exploration aspect to it once you get past the the tutorial bits where you can just run and run and run and run and just find all this little nooks and crannies and and all these little secret areas and stuff like that um, so you know I, I if you miss this at on game on plus I'm sorry um, but the secondary market for it's probably not that bad in fact I can even tell you right now go to it Go to every, as much as me and Andy hate GameStop. Well, we don't hate games. As much as we always talk down about GameStop, if there are games that you missed, um, the secondary market for that is probably like like picking up this game for ten bucks is a steal. Um, and if you're like me and and Andy, even if you don't plan on playing the games immediately. Always buy the games on Plus when they come out. Oh, that's a stone. I can't pick that up. I can't mine off of that. I can just, uh... I can just pick it up and throw it at things. But, I mean, that's a pretty impressive draw distance, right? Like, because that castle off in the distance is way out there. Alright. Um, so, this game for the PS3... 
is 15 bucks and I believe if you buy the Dark Arisen it's 30 um, if you buy it used if you buy it new it's 40 so you get a $40 game off of PlayStation Plus um, or you can pay $30 for it at a secondary store I, I would imagine been in stock or if you have an EB Games or a Game Co or anything like that around you um, you know or heck even like a Best Buy I think are, are doing game trades oh crap so but uh, yeah, this has been Dave's first 48 for uh, Dragon's Dogma um, hopefully you kinda got a decent idea of, of what this game is like um, if you like the video please subscribe uh, if you want to watch me play Dark Souls poorly, please subscribe to our Twitch channel. It should just be Twitch TV slash Pixel Blips. Um, and, you know, if you want to watch our Twitter channel, great. Uh, I try to post stuff up on Twitter. It's mostly just retweets of, of news stories and things like that. Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next week with another Dave's First 48. I'm trying to get the heck out of here before I get killed. <laughs>